Thank you for joining this discussion brought to you by Relation Alice. Visit www.relationalice.com for all database related articles. The topics in this video are demonstrated using SQL Server Den Ali CTP1. In this discussion we will cover the topic of using XML data in conjunction with relational data. Generally speaking, XML has its place in storing unstructured data. For instance, an XML file could easily store data about the features of animals. A particular animal may have features that are not shared by all other animals. As an example, the XML data for animals could contain tags for horn length. Brahma bulls have horns, so the horn length tag would be applicable. The record for a mouse would not contain these tags because a mouse does not have horns. If our XML data was structured then the use case for entering the data in an XML typed column doesn't make sense. In broad terms, a relational database has many more features able to deal with relational data than is supported with XML. A database engine can query millions of related table-based records much faster than an XML parser trying to return results across different relations. As is often the case in information technology, there are always edge cases where we may have to design a suboptimal solution. We will cover the case where an XML data type needs to be used in conjunction with table data. We will be using fairly structured XML data in this video. Structured XML data columns contain tags that are uniform across all rows containing the XML data type. We have a table named people that stores a license number and an XML column named details. Next, I will create XML variables to store the details for three people. The variables are small XML documents that contain details about each person. After the three variables are created, the records containing the XML variable will be inserted into the people table. The query to return the person's full name is fairly simple. Let's break it down. Starting with the from clause, we are using the people table. The details column will be shredded through the use of the nodes function. The apply operator joins the XPath results of the table valued function, nodes, against the outer rows specified. The row set returned is aliased as T, which holds a derived column of the XML data type named info. Finally, in the select statement, the XQuery function, values, is applied to each info column returned in T. The values function returns SQL compliant data types that can be used anywhere an SQL statement needs it. The first no tagged name with the first attribute is returned. This is then concatenated with the first node with the last attribute. This returns the first and last name from the XML. The last example demonstrates how two tables can be joined via a key contained within an XML data column. We will create a new table called employment that will contain one or more jobs each person has. The key that will be used to join to the XML data is social security number. The new query uses all of the same constructs as the previous example, except that there are two XQuery nodes functions being used one to provide output for the select statement, and one to provide the foreign key value to join to the employment table. As a reminder, if all of the data can be stored in relational tables within the database this, of course, is the best option. If you have to select from and or join to XML data the XQuery nodes function is your best bet. 
Thank you for joining me in this Relationalis video presentation.